what forces are acting on these structures what could cause them to break or bend structural design relies on understanding deflector shapes shear force and bending moment diagrams these visualization reveal how structures respond to different load patterns influencing member selection size optimization and ensuring long term stability Hey friends welcome back to civil engineering master in this video we are going to discuss about the most important technical terms in the structural design that is shear force and bending moment diagrams many of us think that it is very difficult to understand the concept behind the shear force and bending moment diagram here let's make it so simple and easy to understand so without further delay let's begin now imagine this ruler as a bridge if cars drives across it what happens it bends right similarly when the load is applied on the structural member it tend to bend that is bending moment consider this bread loaf we use knife to cut this bread loaf into pieces here we are applying the force which is perpendicular to the length of the bread loaf similarly when we apply the force perpendicular to the length of the beam it shears of the beam into pieces that is shear force now let's look into the technical terms shear force diagram and bending moment diagram when the load is applied perpendicular to the length of the beam it tend to shear of the beam like this so this is shear force in order to resist the shear force we provide the shear reinforcement in terms of stirrups in beams best example for shear force is cutting the bread loaf into slices shear force is the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces either to the left or to the right hand of the section so when you cut the section the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces either to the left or to the right of the section that is shear force next bending moment diagram when the load is applied on the beam it tend to bend like a curve so this is bending moment the best example for the bending moment is you can take a ruler and bend with your hand the next example is diving board bends under a person's weight bending moment is the algebraic sum of all the moment of forces either to the left or right of the section if you take any section the algebraic sum of all the moment of forces to the left or to the right of the section is bending moment let's understand the key concept of shear force and bending moment when the load is applied on the beam the internal forces will develop due to the externally applied load these internal forces are shear force and bending moment shear force is acting perpendicular to the beam axis whereas the bending moment is acting above the beam axis this you have to understand clearly the beam must be in equilibrium to resist this internal forces to maintain the equilibrium if you cut any section of the beam the sum of vertical forces is equal to zero that is shear force and the sum of moment is equal to zero that is bending moment so this we have to follow the sum of all the vertical forces are equal to zero and the sum of moment about the axis is equal to zero if you cut any section that must be in equilibrium the equilibrium equation is here sum of vertical forces are equal to zero and sum of moment is equal to zero let's look into the sign conventions for shear force diagram let's consider this as a and this as b we are cutting the section at the middle xx so here at section xx we will be having the upward force as well as the downward force so that we can apply the equilibrium equation that is sum of vertical forces are equal to zero here at section xx left upward is positive that means left upward force is positive and right downward force is positive so left up is positive and right downward is positive in shear force if you cut any section left upward 
and right downward is positive when it comes to negative sign right upward is negative and left downward is negative so right upward and left downward is negative next when coming to the sign convention for bending moment diagram we have sagging that is positive bending moment hogging that is negative bending moment let's cut the section xx at the middle here you will be having the bending moment like this okay so this is acting in the clockwise direction and this is acting in the anti clockwise direction so here left clockwise is positive and right anti clockwise is positive clockwise rotation if you look into this this is left clockwise moment that is positive and in the right side it is anti clockwise moment so it is positive these two are positive sign conventions in bending moment in sagging bending moment top of the beam is compression and bottom of the beam is tension next sagging bending moment in this if you cut the section here in the left of the section you have the anti clockwise bending moment and in the right of the section you have a clockwise bending moment so here left anti clockwise is negative and right clockwise is negative in hogging bending moment top of the beam is tension and bottom of the beam is compression so the sign convention is very important it may look little difficult but in the upcoming videos let's discuss the sign conventions with the example so that it will be very easy for you so friends i hope the concepts are clear to you if you want more videos about the shear force and bending moment let's continue this as a series please do post your queries in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you really like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching